Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having an awesome day. So if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I am super duper excited because I am collaborating with Dossier again. They did reach out to me and asked me to be an ambassador for another three months. Woohoo! So I owe it all to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for using my discount code. I do have a 10% discount code. It will be in the description box below. Thank you so much. Guys, I don't just talk about it. I use the perfumes too. I have finished a few bottles so far. I definitely love a Dossier. You can't beat the prices. Now for those of you who don't know what Dossier is, they are a perfume brand that is crafted in France and they reproduce high-end fragrances. So those super pricey fragrances that cost sometimes $400 and up, you can get it at Dossier, guys. The prices are normally $29, $39, $49, and they do have a few for $59. But guys, it is definitely well worth it. I really do love them. I would not just say that. Like I said, I have spent my own money, okay? I just did a haul in December. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. Of course, I use my own discount code. but <laughs> So definitely save yourself the 10%. But I love working with them. Guys, they are also vegan, paraben, and cruelty-free. And 100% natural. You cannot beat that. They also have bundles if you buy three or more fragrances. You can get actually a discount on top of my discount and you get free shipping if you order three or more bottles. So you cannot beat it guys. It is absolutely amazing. We're going to get right into this. I cannot wait to tell you guys about the two fragrances that I got. So this is what the box looks like. And I want to give, again, a huge shout out to Dossier. Thank you so much for sending me these. So once you open it up, this is what it looks like. And it says, Iconic Sense Designer Quality No Markups. So that is what it looks like. And they always have the card, which I love because it has the details of the fragrance. So that is awesome. And here is my perfume. <laughs> I am really, really excited to smell that. I have never smelled this scent before. So the name of the Dossier fragrance is Floral Sandalwood. And it is inspired by MFK's Amorous Extract de Parfum. I don't want to butcher the name. <laughs> So I'll probably put it on the screen as well. It does have a 20% concentration. It does tell you about the concentration, guys. And let me show you this bottle. Yes, it is very classic, very sleek. I love this. I have to show you guys this every time. Look at this, guys. It is magnetic. So it is perfect for travel. I love playing with that. It will not come off. It also has the fragrance notes right here as well for you. I am going to read them to you. The top notes are pear, tangerine flower, and violet. The middle notes are amorous, orris, and jasmine. And the base notes are vetiver, musks, amber, and sandalwood. Now, I am not a big fan of musk, but I have been wanting to try more of MFK's um, fragrances. They are super pricey, guys. I did look it up, and the value of this one, if you were to buy it, the retail price would be about $360, okay? And this is a 1.7 fluid ounce, so it's supposed to correlate, so it's supposed to be about $360. So this is a woman's fragrance. I am so excited. Let me just tell you this. They do have on the card as well. I love that. It says, thank you. Our mission is to deliver the highest quality of luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore a new scent. Thank you for giving us a try. How it works? Your dossier order has arrived and now it's time to test out your new perfume. Do you love the smell? How does it feel in your skin? If you're not in love, you are always able to return your bottle. Simply head to the returns page on dossier.co to create a return label and ship back to us. We've got you covered. So that is amazing. They do have a 30 day, I believe it is, risk free guarantee. If you don't like it, once you spray it, send it back. And guys, I always forget to mention this, but from what I've heard, they don't just get rid of these and trash them. They actually donated, I believe, to women's shelters. That is amazing, okay? That is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Love Dossier, great company. Thank you so much for reaching out to me again and sending me this. So we are gonna go ahead and get some spraying, guys. So I wanna see what it smells like. So I'm gonna spray it right here. Oh, I got it on my nose. <laughs> oh, it has a very floral scent. It smells nothing like musk, okay? That is the base notes. It has a really good smell. I smell the jasmine. 
I feel like I smell the pear, the flower. It's more of a floral scent, which I like, guys. I'm not a big must fan. I don't like harsher scents. This is very, very nice. Wow. Yes. Oh, that's very, very nice. Okay, so we're going to go into the other one because we're going to see which one I like better. Okay, so this is the other box. And it always is the same thing in the box. And here's a card and here is the fragrance. So we're going to pull this baby out. So for this one, I got that. So it's Ambery Cherry. And this is inspired by... Tom Ford, yes. And guys, I picked this one because I wanted to do a woman's. And this one here is woman's. And this one is unisex, guys. So I always figure if it's not my cup of tea, I can always give it to my husband or RJ. I do have a nine-year-old son. And he's not big into cologne, but sometimes he'll wear it. So I can always give it to him. <laughs> so it says the top notes are cherry, almond and cinnamon the middle notes are cloves rose jasmine and plum the base notes are peru a balsam tonka bean and vanilla oh it sounds like a candle <laughs> it's inspired by a tom ford a lost cherry and a perfume it has 18 percent concentration and i'm not going to read the mission again we know we just want to get right into this and see what it smells like oh my god i'm so excited okay so let's see Hmm. That one has a different type. It has more of a powdery smell on this one to me. Is that the cinnamon or the cloves? I think I'm smelling the cloves. Yeah, I think I smell the, I do smell a little bit of cherry. Okay, so let's see. So we have the, this one is the, whew. Okay, so this one is the MFK inspired, the floral sandalwood, and then we have the Tom Ford inspired. I want to get them right. Uh, so this is the floral sandalwood. This one has a really nice, sweet smell. I really like this one. It has a florally sweet type smell. That's more my cup of tea. This one has a powdery, I think I'm smelling those cloves, and it's not my favorite. So definitely, definitely, the MFK is going to take it. I thought I would like the Lost Cherry more, so I'm shocked by that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would say this is a man's scent either. It's not bad. It's just like a powdery type of scent to me. And I smell the cloves. I like a more fruity, sweet scent. So I think I'll probably end up giving this one to my husband. I think he might really like this one, actually. Yeah, this one is my favorite. So the MFK definitely wins. So the floral sandalwood, I definitely like. Both are not bad, but if I had to choose one, it's going to be the floral sandalwood. This one is very, very nice. And I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that smells really good. This smells really, really good. This one is funny because it's unisex, but it has a softer scent to me than this one does. So that is interesting because you normally find like unisex men's, I would think would be the stronger scent. You guys comment down below, let me know what you think. But, and I, I thought I heard that Lost Cherry was actually very strong, but I'm not finding it to be very strong at all. So maybe I got to mix up with another Tom Ford because I know it was Tom Ford. Yeah. This one is very soft, okay, very soft, very subtle. I like fruity, sweet, kind of like on the stronger side so it lasts all day because I'm not the type that will bring my perfume with me and spray it throughout the day. Once I spray it first thing in the morning, I don't spray it again. Yes, so this one takes it, the floral sandalwood. That is the one that is inspired by the MFK. You see it right there, the MFK right there. I can't even say that name, but yes, so... I do like them both, though. Thank you so much to Dossier. I truly, truly appreciate it, guys. So we will be doing this for another two months. Look down below for that discount code so you can go ahead and get you some. Like I said, I've always been the type of girl that I always had one perfume. And my go-to has been for the past few years, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Until I found Dossier, I hardly wear my Dolce & Gabbana anymore. I will say my favorite Dossier is the green verbena, and that's a Creed Green Irish Tweed. I have already finished 
think one or two bottles of that. I had bought a backup in December. That's when I did my shopping. I actually bought one for my husband too because he loves it. Again, I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But I put my money where my mouth is, guys. I do love it. I bought myself, okay? I have now, with these two and what I already have in my collection, I have now, I believe it's 13, okay? Including the ones I bought and that they sent to me. And I won one from my girl Tara's Corner. Oh, yes. Okay, so this one sits. It smells better. So I feel like this one is more feminine to me, and it's softer. So I do like them both, like I said, but my favorite is this floral sandalwood. So guys, if you have smelled any of these perfumes, you let me know what you think. It's the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, the one that I've heard is a strong one. Comment down below if you've smelled it. Um, I do have allergies. I do have sinuses, and sometimes some scents give me headaches. I will say neither one of these has given me a headache and typically it happens pretty quickly okay guys so I am a little leery about trying fragrances but I am so excited my collection is amazing okay if you guys want to see a collection video at the end I can always do that after I go through these three months I'll be more than happy to so oh yeah yes I love this one the MFK got it so guys, I'm not going to get into the makeup. Again, this is my boring makeup look I always tell you guys. Um, <laughs> so I use the regular, the Mally shadow stick with the Pat McGrath, the, the, the small palette that Pat McGrath has. And I use my dose of color lippies. I know my girl Julia B's Beauty knows what it is. So I really like how this look came out. Though I did do a little bit on my face today. I did a little highlight, a little blush. I mean, I like barely their makeup, so you can't really tell too much. But comment down below. Let me know what you think about the look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and press that bell button so you're notified of any future videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, you guys.